Hello guys, I'm really hoping that my camera doesn't die during this video, but it probably will. And I'll probably be in the middle of it, but it's gonna be fine. Hello guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be ranking male characters from some of my favorite TV shows. Now I actually got inspiration for this video. A YouTuber named Emma Mick. Wagon? I don't know how to say her last name. I've been subscribed to her for a while and she has some of the funniest, most creative and unique content ever. I will have her channel also linked down below. But she did a video where she ranked um, female TV girls. So I didn't want to do that exact same video because after watching it, I realized that I had a lot of opinions that were the same as her. And I also didn't want to just directly copy her. So I was inspired to do this video doing a male character one that was kind of twisting her idea a little bit. Okay, so I have broken these up, these male characters up by show, and then each show is gonna have a pyramid. So if you haven't watched any of these shows and you don't want spoilers, I would skip past the section of the show. If I remember, I will put timestamps either in the description or in the comments. But I'm not gonna avoid spoilers in this video just because I feel like it kind of takes away the concept a little bit. Um, the character judgments that I'm making are not based on the actors, so I'm not judging the character by the actor and I'm completely separating them. Shows that I am going to be doing pyramids on are Gossip Girl, Pretty Little Liars, Glee, Riverdale, Gilmore Girls, and High School Musical, the musical series, which are all of my favorite shows. The first show that we're gonna do is Gossip Girl, which I am re-watching right now, and it is my favorite show of all time. This is my fourth time watching it. I know, unhealthy. What can you do? So the male characters that I have picked out um, are Rufus, Dan, Nate, Chuck, Eric, and Bart, and I feel like that pretty much hits all of them. Like, there are definitely some recurring characters that are important. Um, but not as important as these male leads. So my pyramids are gonna go over here. On the bottom, no surprise, we have Bart. Um, I have very strong feelings about all of the characters that are gonna be in this pyramid, and Bart is just terrible. He is a awful father. He puts Chuck through it, um, and he just deserves to be on the bottom of the pyramid, okay? Next up, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. T. Dan. Dan Humphrey is just not, he's just not it, okay? Season one, season two, Dan, tolerable. Then it hits like the middle of season three and I'm done with him. Like I can't do it anymore. He's so annoying. He's so, and this would be the part of the section where if you don't want a spoiler for this show, you do not need to watch this part. But Dan being Gossip Girl, no. Like who, he, like, ruins so many people's lives through Gossip Girl. Like, how does Serena even marry him after knowing that? Like, the stuff that he did to Jenny on Gossip Girl, I can't even. Like, he's just, no. I just can't with Dan. I could talk about him all day and how much I don't like Dan Humphrey, okay? Next up, um, I feel like this character does not deserve to be here, but I didn't have anywhere else to put him, and it's Eric. Um, Eric doesn't really do anything that's morally questionable or annoying he's just kind of there next up this like irked me to put this here but we have chuck um i love chuck but when you compare him to rufus and nate i feel like he kind of has to be below them because chuck just like he does some stuff to blair where i'm like how can you do that to someone you love but then i also really love chuck you know what i mean Next on the pyramid, we have Nate Archibald. Nate is my favorite male character from Gossip Girl. I love him so much. He is just such a gem, and he, like, very rarely does any, like, morally questionable things, which is a common theme in this show, being morally questionable. It's, like, part of everyone's personality. <laughs> um, but I feel like Nate is just loyal, and I value loyalty a lot, but the most loyal of all of the Upper East Side and Brooklyn is Rufus freaking Humphrey, okay? Rufus deserves the world. Always just being such a good father to Dan and Jenny, and Dan and Jenny just were not good kids to him, and I just feel sorry for Rufus. Um, but he always does the right thing, and he always encourages other people to do the right thing. So Rufus is a real one, okay? The next show is Pretty Little Liars. This is one of my favorite shows. I think it's so fun, and there is also a butt ton of male characters in this show, so... 
you're in for a treat. Now this show is hard to pick out the main characters just because Pretty Little Liars has so many characters. Like when I like was really sitting here thinking about it, I was like, wow. We have of course the main guys, Ezra, Caleb, and Toby. And then I also added Byron, which is Arya's dad, Jason, Noel, and Ren, as well as Mike, who is Arya's brother. On the bottom of the pyramid, and who deserves to be here is another bad dad, and that is Byron. Byron is a cheater. Next up, we have Noel Khan. Um, I feel like this one's pretty self-explanatory. Noel's just crazy. Noel Khan is just dangerous, and I feel like he has some questionable morals, which is another theme in this show. It is not just in Gossip Girl. Next up, I'm probably gonna get hate for this one, but it's Ezra, okay? I just don't. He just rubs me the wrong way. I love Ian Harding, but Ezra ain't it. Next up is Jason. Now, the thing with Jason is... He's kind of sketch, but I feel like he has a good heart, but compared to the other people, this is just where he had to go. Same thing with Mike. I feel like Mike, I mean, the only thing that really stands out to me about Mike is that he kind of steals things and then Arya catches him, but then like Jason also doesn't turn him into the police. Next up, we have Ren. Ren did not deserve the ending that he got. This is where I get juicy. We have Toby and Caleb left. I like both of them and want to do everything they can to help out the girls. But one has to be better than the other, and the one that's better than the other is Caleb. Philip Rivers has always been my favorite male character from Pretty Little Liars from the very second that he walked into the show. I love him. I love him and Hannah's relationship. But the next show is Glee, and this is the one that I took the longest on just because there are so many male lead characters in this more so than any other show. This one was really hard. The list that I came up with all is Finn, Sam, Artie, Mr. Shu, Mike, Mr. Figgins, Puck, Ryder, Jake, Blaine, and Kurt. On the bottom of the pyramid we have the character Jake. Um, I feel like out of all of these he was just the one that always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, you know, he does, he cheats on Marley, and he was just kind of like a bad, he had a bad attitude. The next one that we have is Ryder, also a member of like the new cast, and Jake and Ryder were definitely either Team Jake or Team Ryder, and I was always more Team Ryder. Um, I just liked his character better, and I thought that he was more loyal. Next up, we have Artie. Um, I kind of feel bad for putting Artie here because I do definitely feel for him. I think that he has definitely have, had a, you know, rough time um he's been through a lot but there were just so many moments where Artie just annoyed me next up we have mike and i don't dislike mike or i don't really think that he does anything throughout the show that's wrong but he's not as much of a main character as the rest of them next up on the pyramid we have mr figgins or principal figgins nobody ever really calls him mr figgins and i feel like he shouldn't be running a school next up we have mr shu um he is going to be on the second tier of our pyramid um i put him here because he's an adult and i feel like the kids are more of the main focus and also mr shu is sometimes annoying um and i kind of connect with him particularly because i have had teachers in like the arts that have inspired me as much as Mr. Shu inspires the kids on the show. But there are some things Mr. Shu does where I'm like, I don't know about that. But other than that, I feel like Mr. Shu has a good heart and he cares about the kids, which is very important. This is kind of where it got super hard. Um, I really struggled picking between Kurt and Blaine particularly. So I ended up putting Puck above Mr. Shu just because Puck is like in the first couple of seasons he's kind of a jerk but towards the end I really do like Puck and I think that he grew a lot and I am always here for character growth. I couldn't choose between Kurt and Blaine and I kept going back and forth like every five seconds and really judging based off of I just want to say based off of stupid reasons um because I do really like both of their characters but I ended up putting Kurt over Blaine just because Kurt has been in the show since day one and I feel like even though Kurt has big dreams, he's much more realistic and he judges people more so on their actions than anything which I admire about him. And I will say that Blaine in some episodes acts childish when he shouldn't and I feel like Kurt's never like that. And in the top two spots we have Finn and Sam. I have Finn on the top of the pyramid because Finn is a gem. I love him. And Sam is just precious. He's just... 
so oblivious to the world <laughs> he's just precious next up is Riverdale this was definitely one of the easier pyramids um, I stopped watching this show I did watch I think like the first episode of season four that um, and I only watched it because of um, the Luke Perry tribute so I did watch all of season one season two kind of started getting annoying season three not gonna lie um, and then I stopped watching so so the main male characters that I picked out were Archie and Jughead obviously and then I have Reggie number one and Reggie number two because if you were unaware Reggie number one is played by Ross Butler and Reggie number two is played by Charles Melton um, and even though they're supposed to be the same character there's such a big difference <laughs> Reggie number one is more of a jerk and then Reggie number two has more character development. I have Fred, FP, Kevin, and Hiram. On the bottom of the pyramid is Hiram. There is a trend with dads being on the bottom of the pyramid. Okay, Hiram, literally hate him. Hiram's on the bottom for obvious reasons. Next to Hiram, we have Reggie number one, which is the Ross Butler or earlier version of Reggie. Reggie's just a jerk and he's like the classic high school boy that nobody wants to hang out with. My camera keeps dying, so that's fun so next to reggie number one is going to be reggie number two because reggie number two still a jerk but there's more character development and we have some good moments from reggie number two next on our list we have fp this one kind of hurt me because i really do like fp in some of the later seasons but we can't forget the fact that in season one he basically abandoned jughead except i'm gonna get a lot of hate but jughead um I love Cole Sprouse, but I don't vibe with Jughead. I think that he is very whiny. Next we have Kevin. Kevin is an icon. Um, he's a supportive best friend and wants the best for everyone, so go Kev. Next we have Archie. Archie is just the, you know, boy next door, wants to protect his family. He does dangerous and sometimes bad things, but he does them for good reasons, which doesn't make it right, but it's to protect the people that he loves. At the top of the pyramid, we have the one, the only, Fred Andrews. I do not have one bad thing to say about this man. So next on the pyramid, or the next pyramid that I'm going to do is Gilmore Girls. This is where it's going to get a little juicy. The ones that I came up with are Logan, Jess, Dean, Luke, Christopher, Tristan, Richard, Max, Jackson, Jason, Michelle, and Kirk. So on the bottom of the pyramid we have Tristan played by the lovely Chad Michael Murray. Chad Michael Murray I love you. Tristan I don't love you. Next up we have Jason and I debated putting Jason in here because honestly I didn't even remember that he existed until I looked up the cast on the internet. But Jason was like the one Lorelai love interest where I'm like, if she ends up with Jason, I'm going to stop watching this show. Next up we have Jackson, and I feel bad for putting Jackson next to the likings of Jason and Tristan, but there just was no other place to put him. Like, I couldn't put him above any of the other characters, if that makes sense. So Jackson, I am so sorry. Next we have Max Medina. Um, Max was like, okay, I didn't really mind him that much. Next up we have Michelle. Um, Mich Michelle, or Michelle, Mich Michelle, he says it like differently all the time. Um, but Michelle was kind of like, always just kind of there. Next up we have Kirk, and I would definitely say that Kirk is like, some really good, like, comedy relief in this show. Like, I think he's really funny. Next up we have Richard Gilmore. Richard... I always went back and forth with the show because I feel like sometimes he supported Rory and then other times he had a whole different agenda. Next up we have Christopher. I'm not gonna lie, there have been moments where I'm like, if Lorelai ends up with Christopher, I'm here for it. But then I remember Luke and I'm like, but Luke, you know what I mean? And this is kind of where it's gonna get a little heated, I feel like, because fans have lots of strong opinions when it comes to these three, four, I guess. I feel like one of them everybody kind of just agrees on, but the three boys, the love triangle, um, gets a little saucy, but next we have Logan, um, he's the one I dislike the most out of Rory's boyfriends, I think that he turns her in to a terrible person, get it, like I feel like I liked Rory until she went to Yale and met Logan and then she turned into a terrible person and I blame it on Logan. Deep down, he cares for her and loves her, but he does not show it. He is not good at being loyal. Next, we have Dean. Dean, I do like in season one. I think that he is um, a good first boyfriend for Rory, but then 
good old Milo Ventimiglia comes into the scene and my favorite episode of Gilmore Girls is the dance episode, the dance marathon episode where she breaks up with Dean and gets together with Jess so like sorry Dean. Um, on the top of the pyramid um, I couldn't pick between Jess and Luke because Jess is my favorite and Luke just deserves the world so they are sharing the top spot. The last series that I'm going to do is High School Musical the Musical the series. This was by far my easiest pyramid. Um, I did it in like four seconds because I feel like it's one that most people agree on and I haven't really seen a lot of fight over so love the show. If you haven't watched it, highly recommend. Um, but the main characters that I came up with for this for the season one um, are Ricky, EJ, Big Red, uh, Carlos, and Mr. Mazzara. I was gonna put Seb on this list, but he wasn't technically a series regular in season one, so I didn't put him on this list. Um, so on the bottom, we have EJ because I don't like him. <laughs> um, my number one pet peeve are narcissistic, entitled, and overconfident people, like to the point where it's annoying. Um, and I just cannot stand people who think that they are better than everyone, and EJ is one of those people. I love the whole cast. I love Matt Cornette, but EJ is just not it for me. A close, close second to EJ is Mr. Mazzara. Um, I hated him at the beginning of season one because automatically, if you are an arts hater, I just don't, I don't vibe with you, and I don't understand how people cannot be arts advocates when culture is pretty much run by the arts and arts is essential to society um and he does not like the arts or theater and he thinks it's stupid so I will say that he gets better by the end and I admire him a lot more by the end for like that character growth but um the last person on the bottom tier and this saddens me to say but it's Big Red I do love Big Red and I love his tap dancing at the end but I just feel like Big Red at the beginning is not as big of a character um, and he gets bigger throughout like the duration of the show and by the end I'm like so here for Big Red. Next up we have Carlos. Love that man. My favorite line from the show is when Mr. Mazzara says are you supposed to be somewhere and he says Broadway. I love Carlos. At the top of the pyramid and the person who should be at the top of everyone's pyramid is Ricky. So that is my pyramid for High School Musical the Musical the series. Um, props to the YouTuber Emma for giving me this idea or inspiring this idea. She didn't give it to me but she inspired this idea. Um, I thought that video was hilarious and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go watch hers. It'll be in the description. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I love doing like pop culture and movie TV show videos for you guys. So so if you want some more, check them out. I have a ton. Um, I have a ton of Netflix videos and movie videos. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I will be back next week with some more content for you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Love you guys. Bye.